Hello and welcome to Darkness Descending Presents the North American Amateur StarCraft League. Season 1, the finals, bracket 4, between players Katakin in the uh, bottom uh, yellow zerg and Beast in the top right uh, red zerg. So we have a little zerg on zerg game here. And I'd like to publicly apologize to Katakin. Uh, I was calling him Kat Katch Katakchin. <laughs> Any case, I will try to uh, do my best to, to stick with the correct name from now on. Uh, we are they are on play on map Metalopolis, uh, which is a very large map. You can see both Zerg players are scouting their uh, their adjacent uh, friends' positions. Uh, Katakin is going to go ahead and get some uh, scouting on with this drone, so he will know the position first. But by by proxy, so will Beast, um, just because the timing, it's highly unlikely that a drone would come from the absolute opposite side. Um, uh, so Beast now has an approximation of where um, Katakin is. So, um, so far, nothing really to, to mention. They're both droning up quite a bit. Uh, bring up the income tab there. So, uh, looks like Katakin has a couple additional uh, drones to to Beast, and that's simply because he put down that spawning pool. And now Katakin has followed suit. So, so far pretty standard stuff. Both players going for a single gas relatively early. Uh, not too much difference for, for either. Katakin's drone looking to uh, kill the spawning pool on its own, but uh, I just don't think that's going to happen. A drone can dream big. Alright, so we got a spawning pool, we have a gas. Same thing on both sides. Zerg games typically don't, uh, unlike a Zerg versus other races where Zerg will drone up like crazy, um, typically in Zerg games you won't see quite as much droning early on because uh, both players can obviously pump out a lot of units early on. Oh, and I'd like to mention that I would have had this game out sooner, except that, or these games rather, out sooner, but uh, I had been having some computer problems. However, I believe those are fixed now. Uh, it happened when the patch hit. It would cause my Fraps client to crash, so I couldn't record anything. Um, but I believe they're fixed at this time, so hopefully we'll be all set. So we do have a Roach Warren coming up, we do have a Spine Crawler. Um, it looks like Katakin will, so will know of the Roaches. Expended those two Zerglings just to get that information. Looks like we're getting, uh, Zergling speed from Katakin. So, really, um... Beast does not have any idea what's happening in Katakin's base. Uh, he just has the outside view from that overlord. Um, he's sending down a couple of zerglings just to scout it out, see what's going on. Whereas Katakin knows everything that's going on in Beast's base. Uh, so here we go, we got a little fight going on. Not too much, nobody, I don't believe anybody, uh, yep. Nothing lost there, uh, other than Katakin's two early scouts. Now it looks like Red has pulled ahead in the drones. We are seeing uh, ooh, a little hidden roach war in there. Uh, we are seeing roaches from both players. Beast is getting the uh, the damage upgrade for ranged. So uh, it is important to note that I really like seeing um, the things that Katakin and, in fact, what... Uh, what Beast is doing as well, is this mixed unit uh, composition really helps out um, these... the fact that we have these Zerglings which will allow you to get on the ramp and allow you to see on the ramp is very helpful and then you have all these roaches in the back that can actually shoot up the ramp. Uh, so this is actually a really good strategy we can use we can utilize these cheap units to to give us vision and to do a little damage too. So Katakin just 
hitting a little bit just to soften him up a bit, make him move back. And now he's broken in. Uh, this may be pretty a pretty dangerous situation for uh, for Beast. Uh, we do have a lot of, we're seeing a lot of roaches here. And with that speed up leg and with the Zerglings, any reinforcements from Katakin is, are going to come in very quickly. There goes that spine crawler. Uh, Katakin is doing a lot of damage, but he is losing a lot of units. Uh, so he may be able to, uh, uh, I'm not sure if we, well, looks like Beast does now have more units than Katakin, but we are seeing that, that quick, quick reinforcement with the Zerglings, and here we go, and it looks like those Zerglings are going to come in, and they are going to, uh, be able to soak up a lot of damage, as long as, as much, also do a lot of damage, we were able to kill the Queen, that's a huge production loss for, for Beast, but it looks like we, Beast might be able to hold this, is going to be able to hold this off, uh, and fight another day, so that was uh, a really good exchange in terms of units lost. Katakin lost a lot of units, uh, a good amount of resources overall because he had all those zerglings, that's why the unit count is so askew, uh, but the resources are not too far off, so not a huge waste on either player's terms. <clears throat> Looks like Katakin is going with a few more drones, does have a little bit more income, um, he did, of course, kill a couple drones during that, uh, during that attack. Uh, so, you know, right now, kind of even footing. Uh, I would say that with this expansion, if Katakin is able to hold on to it, he is going to be in a very good position. But look at this, we have Banelings. This is going to help, uh, obviously, um, this is going to help uh, Beast to get rid of those uh, mass speedlings that uh, Katakin is, is, uh, is holding on to. It is kind of a... Uh, I, I am curious as to why Katakin is sitting his Zerglings right below the Overlord of uh, of Beast. So Beast knows exactly where they are and knows exactly how much how many of them there are. And now we have this uh, Roach and Baneling army coming into play. Uh, so what Katakin's going to need to do is going to need to kill off those Banelings before he sends in those Zerglings, or send in a couple Zerglings just to take the brunt of that. Uh... And as you see. There we go. So we have that that big hit from the, but but that Baneling is did not do as well as it should have. Uh, it was meant to hit the big pack, but it only hit two Zerglings, which is a complete waste of that Baneling. So it looks like Katakin is going to be able to mop this up, maybe or maybe not. Oh yeah, that, that's true. Uh, Beast does have the damage upgrade, so those uh, um, those uh, Roaches do a lot more damage. Than, uh, than Katakin's roaches are doing, currently doing. And as we can see, the Zerglings just do not do a lot of damage to roaches. Uh, and it looks like that is the good game. So uh, game one's going to Beast. So congratulations, Beast. Uh, as always, uh, if, you look, if you like these videos, please uh, subscribe and rate.